everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm your host, Lisan Fay, and, well, we are in the Horsehead Nebula, and we're going to go check out Fortuna, because I have one little quest to wrap up out here. Okay. Alright. I know that the other one is where I land. Okay. So, an amaranthine. Well, I want my boom squad. It'll all be good. All right, and I'm right near a mineral deposit. So I'm going to grab that before I do absolutely anything else. Alright. Oh gosh, darn it. There we go. I need to to just be a little more patient with some of that. Alright, so to the map. So I've got there. I have an anomaly. That's a nice shot. Of their moon. Almost there. There it is. All right. Well. There we go. Did my game of Frogger to get the materials. That's really what that is. I guess you can't see all the people, so maybe that song's not the best choice. Um, and last but not least, we have over here. All right. Zippy zoop. Time to go talk to some pirates.
Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Uh -huh. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Those men deserve to die. Now are we going to have a problem? Not if I can help it, Commander. I hope you can see that I am by far a lesser evil than those men. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. There will be no drugs and no slave-taking for the Batarians. Those days are over. I'm giving you one chance to live through this. Shut this gang down. I cannot believe you place such a high priority on stopping such petty, victimless crimes. They're not victimless. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? Sure. You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, Good. if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Alright. Sweet. Bib squad. Represent. That was easy. All right, we're out. Which that was about as long as I expected that to take. So now we come over here. Thank you. Alright, so I've done one, two, three. There are four rings, so all that's left is Novaria. <sighs> Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Oh, joy. Well... Time to have a lot of fun. Because we're going to take Liara. And because I need some tech strength and I would like some combat strength, we're going to take Garrus. And that will be our squad. Totally not skewed. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh yeah, Liara, while I have you here. My dear. Um, yes, we're gonna upgrade your weapons. Um, yeah, we'll do that. In that. Um, also, real, real quick.
that's an improvement. So, congratulations, you get new armor. Now we all kind of match. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes. You. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. I really wouldn't do that. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Not wrong. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three... Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Reminder that you're the one who tried to call me a liar. Gosh, it's been a while since I've been here. Weapon. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Whatever. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Fine, where... Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. We talked about her before. But things change when you're up against something. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. All right. I hope so. I accept your word, Liera. Let's get going. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Cool. A different take on that. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. 
For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Lovely. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Um. Standard items first. Because I know you have stuff. All right. Didn't think I have any junk, and I didn't. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Yes. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Uh. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Whatever. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Sure. Is there anything else this one might help you with? All right. Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? And what do you have here? Ah, uh, nothing I'm gonna worry about. Oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Full stop. Accidentally hit my, um... You know what? We're just gonna do this real quick. seem to recall this being fairly easy to pick up. Right. And... Look at it this way. Makes up for all those credits I spent. Well, we at least look cohesive together. With all the uniforms. All right, here you go. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. I forget if I could actually, like, look at what it was. Journal.
Eh, I'll, I'll decide if I'm handing it off to him in a bit. Ah, uh, this is the way. Right? How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Alright. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. You have a problem with colonials? No appreciation for economics. Protectionists and communists, all of them. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Yep. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia yeah. is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Nah. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Whatever. I'm gone. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. <sighs> You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. Ah, oh, lovely. I love the smell of corporate espionage in the morning. Goes over very well with the blizzards. Let's see, do I remember where the bar is? Probably up here. Hopefully I remembered correctly. Like, trying to get a view out the windows. Nope. Oh. There's music, so... Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. What? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. 
You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Um. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What yep. is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Uh-huh, and... What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. <sighs> Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Fine. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Fine. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. <sighs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. Actually... Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Eng firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in ZG muscle degeneracy. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improves speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? 
I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with you. <sighs> well. That could have gone better. Yeah, just... Not quite enough, huh? Oh, and Liara. Uh. Hey, okay, and we'll bump that. Garrus, you're good. No, you're not. Of course, you're not. Um. Yeah, just a little shy. I'm locked out. It worked out well enough. So, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Uh, do I have to go back and talk to her? I guess I do. Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, sure. Any results? Done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Wow, you make very little money. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. True that. Saren, and by extension, Venezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Uh-huh. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Okay. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. Are you Loric Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office, for the moment at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I fail to see how this gets me into the garage. Put bluntly, the administrator demands rent kickbacks from the companies on Novaria. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. Yes. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. 
Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. True. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. All right, fine. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Wait a minute. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Lovely. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Of course. <sighs> well, you know what? I'm gonna get out of the bar, but I think this is a good place to end this episode. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.